What's up YouTube? Today we're making the small YouTuber tag video. I've really wanted to make this video for a while, but I just really haven't had the time and motivation to make it. But here we are making it. And you know, a lot of people would find this interesting as I found it interesting myself watching other people's uh, small YouTuber tag videos. Really interesting, but let's just dive right into it. The first question is what inspired you to start making YouTube videos? And this is a topic that can go really deep but in simplest terms i just really like the way camera could capture a really big moment and i've always loved just making videos and video editing then i just kind of fell in love with making videos and editing videos i really enjoy doing what i'm doing right now the second question is how long have you been on youtube and did you have any other channels well i've been on youtube since 2007 back when youtube poop existed i didn't really bother to make a channel the simple answer to this question is no i've been on youtube but I never created an account. I made my account in 2012. The third question is where do you see your channel in five years? And this is kind of a question that I can't really answer too much, but you know, predictions work. So in five years, I would see myself growing more. YouTube is definitely gonna be a thing still because YouTube is just way too big to even be shut down or even forgotten. I'd probably just keep making videos, doing what I'm doing, pushing out, better content as I go, as I progress. The fourth question is what message are you trying to get through your videos? Till this day, I'm still trying to figure out what message I'm getting through my videos. Usually if I make a video, I try to incorporate, you know, some type of meaning to it. Cause I don't want to just make a video, just be like, yeah, that's it. With the new stuff I'm posting now, you know that feeling when you walk out of a movie theater or, you know, you see a really good film and the ending, it just really ends with the bang. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at, but it's not really working out too well. Other than that, the message will just be, you know, thanks for watching. <laughs> the fifth question is, do people from your school know about your channel? Yes, they do. A lot of people that I don't even know, and a lot of people that I do know, they come up to me, they'll be like, Angel, I watched your videos. And I'll be like, thank you. If you're one of those people, I appreciate it a lot. It really makes me feel good. It brings up my motivation. It just builds me stronger and stronger every time somebody approaches me. It's kind of funny though. A lot of people who I would never, ever, ever have thought that would watch my videos, watch my videos. So it's pretty nice. It's definitely like a privilege to be at where I am right now. Even though I'm still a small YouTuber, I'm almost to 5,000 subscribers. To the other small YouTubers out there who only have 100, they'll be like, 5,000, that's too much. But in reality, too much is not enough. And at the end of the day, when I upload this video, it's only gonna get like 20 views. So you could say that I got some subscribers that are really inactive. The sixth question is, what does your username mean? If you've been on the channel previously, you know that my first name used to be Deadly Snipers 15 And I used to be a gaming channel, but then as I started progressing, I kind of said like, what, what am I even doing? If I share my channel to other people, then you know they're probably gonna be like all right i'll check your channel out and then they see gaming videos and they'll be like oh never mind i didn't really want an audience like that so i changed my name to mclovin's funhouse because it just made sense i tried to get it to just funhouse but it was too short apparently right now i got a custom url link thing i just changed my username as well to mclovin's funhouse because it just makes sense i'm in a house you know it's fun to do what i'm doing and the mclovin meaning I mean, that's pretty common sense. I really did look like McLovin when I was little. It was, it was pretty funny. I think it was because the glasses and the hair. The last question is, who are your favorite small YouTubers? I can't remember them all from the top of my head, but uh, they're just really small YouTubers under a thousand subs or whatever. And I really like watching small YouTubers more than big YouTubers because you can really see all the hard work and whatnot that's put into their videos. The moment you start watching a video of theirs, you can just spot it right away that they really are committed to doing their YouTube videos. But I'll definitely put the links in the description to their YouTube channels. As it's probably gonna be like five people. I think there's like two girls that are like around my age that do some really interesting videos as well, like talking in front of the camera. But a couple of their, a majority of their videos are like makeup videos or whatnot. I don't watch those, I just like to watch you know, them talk and speak in front of the camera like how I am right now. I've always loved just watching videos like that, you know, somebody speaking in front of the camera. It just really shows you what they're trying to get out of themselves and what they're trying to share with you guys. 
just like how I am. And so that is all for today. Uh, please don't spam the comment section with, hey man, your channel's great. You should subscribe to my channel as well. I'm not gonna subscribe to you. YouTube does a very great job at filtering the spam comments, so I'm pretty thankful for that. I know you small YouTubers like to share your stuff, but the way I've always done stuff on YouTube is I don't overshare things. I don't go around Facebook tagging 100 people. Share, share, please subscribe to my channel. I don't go around other people's videos being like, subscribe to my channel if i want to subscribe to i'll subscribe to you simple as that just please don't be one of those people in the comment section that leaves a lot of spam i, I don't i don't like people like that anyways that is all there is for this video hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it i mean it's a monday i'm not sure when i'm gonna upload this video since you know i always got a lot of homework and editing takes for a while but you know, I'm trying my best to push out whatever I can. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.